Hi, Ron from RabbitNipples.com. Want to show you a couple of the, the saw brass nipples we carry. This one is the SE2, has the threads on the back that are 8th inch. This is our SE1, has a 3 16 barb. So it's going to be used with 3 16 inside diameter tubing. There's an option for a cage clip. I'm sorry. For this, this one as well. Um, these two are probably our most popular nipples. Um, again, solid brass. They're going to last you a long time. You just have to replace. There's going to be some parts that need replaced over time. So, so again, the SE2 and the SE1. This is what it looks like taken apart. You're going to have the rear of the nipple, a diaphragm. You have the trigger with an O-ring. And then the front of the nipple here with an O-ring. And that o-ring on the on the trigger sits right in there so one thing a lot of uh, customers buying a nipple like this because it's quite a bit more expensive than your standard um, cheap nipples <clears throat> they uh, expect like they're never gonna have an issue with it um, which is not going to be the case most of the time it's uh, it's probably the nipple that we have the least amount of problems with, but um, you know there's there's always an issue somewhere. Um, whether it's you didn't clean out your water line from the beginning and you got debris in the nipple, now you need to take it apart and clean it, or your water source if you're doing gravity feed, if you get any kind of hair or I don't know anything in that bucket um, and it gets down to the nipple you're gonna have some problems with leakage so I wanted to show you real quick how to reassemble these so this is what it looks like unassembled so the, the diaphragm sits in here you can use the back of the trigger to push it in so it sits in there nice Trigger goes in there, and then it it'll thread together. So, and when you're when you're threading it together, just tighten it enough. If I don't know if you can see the stainless trigger in there, tighten it enough where that trigger isn't resting on the on the brass down here. So, until it's just sticking straight out. Um, and that's usually the perfect tightness. If you over tighten, you will stretch out the diaphragm, which will again probably lead to leaks. Uh, they're they're kind of just this little area you want it the the nipple in, like I mean, just not too tight, not too loose. So again, this is the SE2. The SE1 has the 316th barb. Uh, really popular replacement parts, diaphragms, and O-rings are available on our website. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, Ron at RabbitNipple, well it's actually Ronald at RabbitNipples.com. Thank you.